In today's video, I'm going to be showing you everything pattern paper. Stay tuned. Hello everyone. I'm back again with another episode of How to Start Card Making. And I wanted to show you about pattern paper. And this is just some of what I have. Some examples to show you and to explain a little bit. And then we're going to apply this. Okay, these are six by six paper pads. They come with this little hanger hole that you do need to. It depends on how you cut your paper, but I always cut it off right here. And this is two, two that I'm not done with yet. And this is a five, five and a half by seven and a half. I only have one of these, but they do make the, the size also. And this is another 6x6 six six that I've had forever, and it's not anywhere near done. And this is a brand new pad that I bought to use on one of our collaborations, but I just haven't gotten to it yet. Okay, this is probably one of my very favorites. It's a 12x12. Twelve and uh, as you can see, I haven't even used it up yet. I got it last year. And this I bought at the very beginning of my crafting, and it's not e it's not near done either. When you buy a 12 by 12, and they're everywhere, trust me, there's bound to be some papers in there that, eh, you're not real thrilled about, and so there you go. Before I get to that one, and this one is, is almost brand new. I got it from a D stash, Disney, because I have two small granddaughters, and I can also use this for scrapbooking. And. This is Stamping Up Paper. Stampin' Up is a great company. They make 12 by 12 pattern paper. They also do six by six pattern papers called Stacks. But the, the unique thing about Stamping Up is that everything coordinates. Their cardstock and ink. And right here on the back of this pattern paper, it tells you the different colors that are in it. It's chocolate chip, crumb cake, pear pizzazz, peekaboo peach, pool party, watermelon wonder, and whisper white. And these are all colors of inks that Stampin' Up! has. It's a great company to start with for beginners, I believe, because there's no guesswork. And I wanted to show you this last but not least. This is from Snowflake Ridge. It's a single piece. And you can buy these on scrapbook.com. And so I love this. You don't have to buy the whole set if you don't want to. Uh, you can you can see just the one piece that you really want and just buy that. Um, typically, when they're on sale, I've paid $0.86. Cents, and I think the highest price was $1.10. And they are double-sided. So I will put a link down in the description box for scrapbook.com. With pattern paper, obviously you're going to get lots of scraps. And I have several drawers full. Okay, let's take our white. This is five and a quarter by, no, this is five, five and a half by four and a quarter card base. And let's do some. Let's see. Where did I have it? This is probably the easiest one to do here. Get out my trimmer. And like I said, we're going to trim off the top piece.
Now, because the card base is five and a half by four and a quarter, if I want to put a piece of pattern paper down first, the pattern paper is going to be five and a quarter by four. Or if I want to put a piece of cardstock down first, the cardstock would be five and a quarter by four. Well, that's a little bit. The cardstock would be five and a quarter by four. And then I would make my this piece five. Oh, let me point this out. This is directional. You know what I mean by that portrait? It's going up and down. So I want the long side, which is going to be the five and a quarter, this way. And then a four. Okay, now that would be, that would go on top of, but I wanted it littler. We will do five. by three and three quarters. Okay. I know this doesn't match, but you get the idea. So on the card base itself, you can put a mat or you can just put the pattern paper. I think it looks better with the mat. And then you can put stamp an image or a sentiment in the middle and you're done. I did forget to mention that this pattern paper happens to be double sided. And you could you could use both on the same card. Because you know they're gonna match. Some pieces, some papers only have one side, like this one. It's just single sided but most are double-sided. And then you can just keep going. And you can also emboss pattern paper and I will show you that in another video. We'll be using this paper pad in an upcoming video, so please make sure to watch. And if you like this, please press that like button, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.